So what this strange challenge run is, uh, I've been waiting for the uh, the Halloween omnibus event for a, for a little bit now. There is a quest that you can't lose. So the challenge for the day is to lose that quest. So I have some ideas. I've uh, it, I've actually been thinking of this for well over a year now, and I've bounced the idea off of uh, some other people. A few people have made joke videos about stalling for absurdly long periods of time by abusing Oberon's eternal sleep gimmick. I made a community post earlier this year showcasing a 25,000 turn stall. The strategy was to put everyone on my team capable of doing damage asleep before they did a total of 2,000 damage to the enemy. I can't not attack unless I use a non-damaging MP or use the cards of a stunned slash sleeping servant. So my options for eliminating my team are either characters that die extremely easily or characters that can remove other servants from the fight. A Rash and Chingong would be useful, but they do too much damage. Nobukatsu became pretty integral to my clear, since the Eternal Sleep debuff takes a turn to proc. The problem here, and the reason why this is even considered a challenge, is this asshole. You aren't allowed to bring a friend's support servant. If you could, you could eliminate all damage on turn 1 by bringing another moth over for a fun little sleepover, while your friend's little brother suffers the consequences of tweeting a slur 20 years ago. The plan is for Oberon to sleep Robin, stall for his sleep skill to come off cooldown, and then sleep himself. After that, the last one, that's the name of the skeleton, will slowly chip away at their HP until he gets his inevitable victory. Sorry, uh, my sister texted me. I forgot that they were doing... Ooh. Alright, guys. This is it. I think this is it. Yep. Alright, guys. It's game time. Maybe. Uh, it, it would be funny if this isn't it. So we're just gonna go in with what we got and see how far we get with this. So, turn one, we have to get... We have to get a Nobukatsu break chain. So we need two of those... Uh, those cards of his. Okay, so basically, a while back... Um, yep, okay, gonna reset. A while back, uh, my sister invited me to go to some game, game night. Uh, that she hosts at her house, and and as much as I liked the idea before, I didn't have the option because I lived so far away. And now I live, like, 20 minutes away from her. So it's an option now. Alright. Alright, I require for you to die, Nobukatsu. Goodbye. What am I trying to do? I am trying to lose. So this quest is so brain-dead easy that it is basically impossible to lose. And we're off to a terrible start. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Yeah. You know what? I'm going to give Jason... I'm actually going to give him Poster Girl. Maybe he'll die in a couple turns. Do I have, do I have it bookmarked? But yeah, this is a, a challenge I have never seen anyone do. I doubt anyone else will ever do this challenge, though. Uh, and... I would love to make this into a video, if possible. Yeah, Robin's forced. If Robin wasn't forced, I would just double over on. Double over on would definitely fix this. Do I think it's possible? Maybe. I don't know if it is possible, but we're going to try and find that out today. 
If it is possible, it's probably super RNG. So I'm going to be dishing out a few apples here today. Fortunately, I got a good amount of apples. I'm not down to a, I'm not down to the double digits yet. I also have like a thousand. I also have like a thousand. Oh, 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 I forgot. Oh, oh, wrong one. I also have like a thousand uh, bronze apples, so. <laughs> yeah. So, one kind of nice thing about bringing Jason is I can just immediately remove the taunt on on Robin, because the, the taunt that that Oberon applies is actually uh, it's actually considered a debuff that you can remove. It's pretty rare. These days, if they give you a demerit, uh, they don't want you avoiding it. Strange dance. Oh my god, as soon as I say that, he puts a debuff on him. Dude, look. <laughs> this little shit. Okay, I want to get a, a good estimation of how much damage he will do. He's probably going to kill. Yep. He even overkilled. Okay. So that's... That is not something he is able to do. I wish there was some sort of craft essence that could... That could, uh... That could make you... Not... It, it, like, make it so you do less damage, or... Uh... Get stunned for something... Yeah, it's gonna be quite an RNG fest here today, so strap in. If he was cavalry, that would help a lot. If he was an assassin, that would make this a lot easier, I think. I love that emoji. Uh, boned. High battery in exchange for 50% attack down. I like that idea, but I feel like that would be too strong on some supports. Oh, it's slow mo still. Oopsie. Oopsie. Very slow motion. Hey, that time... Uh, that time he didn't apply another debuff. Wow. Okay. A little damage does he do? First place quick does... Does 200. Hold on. Wow, he does so little damage. And he's even got 60% attack right now. Oh, I forgot. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I thought... I thought I removed it before. I guess it counts as a buff. I could have sworn I removed it before. Oh, and then still forgot to... Forgot to do that. So, top... The lowest damage here would be... Um, 
him in the second place, because if I do this, he gets the bust with starting bonus. If I put it in the back, he gets more damage. Oh, it's technically this. Okay, he's gone. Okay. Yeah, really low on health. I don't think I want Jason to die that early, because Jason really just does that little damage. Ow. Okay, then we get... Oh? Bro, is this... Mm, oh, okay, he has to die this turn. Oh, dude, this... This music is... Oh, no. Okay. So he has to die this turn, because next turn we get Oberon cards, and then, like... Oh, dude. What it hinges on is the card shuffles next turn. Because next turn, I can use Oberon's third skill on himself, and then I have to wait one turn. It depends on the attack. Yeah. Slow mode time. <laughs> Attacks. Yes. Okay. All right. Moment of truth. And then I got the cards that I wanted. I successfully lost one Reddit gold and bought a Lamborghini with the sub money that I got donated for winning. Yeah, I'm not fooling anyone. Oh, dude, it was so close. Ah, oh, it was so close, man. Ah. Oh. Because, like, I do this now, but next turn, I can't. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude, it was so close. It couldn't be that easy, though. As expected, it wasn't going to be a fast achievement. But even though we stumbled and fell, we found out that there is a path to victory. What I was doing could work. All I needed was some good luck. How many turns is the final run going to take? <laughs> yeah, but I was about to give you an, uh, like an answer because like we can literally pinpoint how long it'll take until uh, he gets that third skill back. So it would take like seven turns technically, but then you have to sit there waiting for the skeleton to finish killing you. And I think it has a 20% chance of using a skill. So <laughs> yeah. It'd, it'd take a while. At least it has a low bar for for the the NP charge. Okay, cool. Okay. It's still in slow mo. Damn it! I need to. I need to stop the slow-mo. It's kind of funny how people call it slow-mo, even though it's technically regular speed. Oh, I need a drink. Hold on. Thank you. Good, good cards starting off. Oh. Slow mood. Wow. I don't have to kill him immediately. You can wait another turn. Oh, okay. That's an L. Because we got three Oberon cards. If we get three Oberon cards, it's just... Yeah. Nothing. Why do I keep putting the Jason cards in the back? Yeah, you're right. They do get more damage in the back. Uh, I guess force a habit, and I'm thinking like, oh yeah, more effectiveness in the back. 
yeah, but we're not, we're looking for less effectiveness. Thank you for the recur the correction, though. Man, I got I got recommended a VTuber, one of the popular VTubers, uh, the shark character, uh, Shy Lily. How dare Twitch remind me that VTubers exist? It looks like it's going the same way as before. Yeah, and it has too much health now. Was unlucky. No backseating. That's fine. Um, that's that's one of the things I definitely didn't really. Uh, I mean, I guess like after last time, I guess it it does make sense to correct me a little. It's just uh, as long as you're not being obnoxious about it, because some people will come in and first chat and say like, "Hey, you should do this thing." Because oftentimes they don't even know what they're talking Like, either... Like, they might not know what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, they also might just not know how to achieve the thing that they think that they know how to achieve. Hey, Buster Brave Chain, dude. Massive damage. Massive deeps. I'm not sure if it would be easier or harder if it had a lot of HP. Hey. Same. Yeah. That one's dead, too. Ideally, I would only be... I, I would have to use... Two cards. Well... Hold on. In those three turns. I guess it would be four cards. But ideally, I wouldn't have to take a Brave Chain from George. Well, not George, but it, it's... It, like... You really just don't want Jason to take much. Because, uh, like, even... Uh, you don't want him to do much damage, that's what I'm trying to say. Because George is going to do, like... Actually, George isn't doing double the damage. He's only... He's... George isn't putting much damage out at all. Yeah, because he doesn't have the 62% attack buff. I had this idea uh, when I was tossing around ideas for this, and I was thinking, uh, what if I use the Mage Mystic Code? Because that has a, a shuffle on it. But there's another problem with that. If I do that, then I have to wait an extra two turns for that. Uh, for his eternal sleep to come back. Okay. Am I interested in Fate Samurai Remnant? Honestly? I, like, I'm probably trying to get the thing for free. I would have loved to have gotten that, but... But, uh, I didn't... Uh, they never... Uh, let me... They, they never emailed me back, so I, I, I guess I didn't qualify, but I'm not, like, when I was thinking about it, I was kind of just thinking, like, I'd, like, I'd be able to get, like, a little clout off of it, or, like, that's basically it, because, honestly, if I don't ever play that game, it's not gonna hurt me, it's just, like, if I was able to play that game, like stream it, that would have been pretty nice, I guess. But now I've looked over and seen the views that people got from streaming the game, and I'm I'm thinking maybe maybe it was for the best. I didn't, because truth be told, not very many people care about that game. Who? Twenty three. I think that's an L. A game to play, not watch. 
It's a good way to put it. Yep, it's definitely an L. The 23 health felt like a bit of a, a giveaway, but yeah. Speaking of Rio, though, he apparently made like this pretty extensive review of it. It was like, like I think 20-ish minutes long. And I, uh, I, I gotta respect that because he did put a lot of effort into it. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I would like to watch it in the future. But, uh, but yeah, he spent like an entire afternoon working on that, uh, that review. And like, the way I am about like video content on YouTube. So, so the things that I really express, it, uh, I really respect are, I, I respect when people put a lot of effort into something. Even if it doesn't come out looking amazing, I I respect that there is heart behind the work that they put in. Okay, this is an another L for sure. It's like I don't know how good the video is gonna be. Like I might disagree with it, but like I mean, then again, like I I don't really have a horse in the race because I haven't played the game. But that's kind of another thing that I enjoy about watching content like I I like appreciating really well-made videos because there's so much that goes into a video that makes it good like there are things like so the right like videos videos are kind of like books uh hmm Maybe a better way to put it, videos are a lot like pictures, maybe? It's just, you have to have like this composition behind it. It's not just, you take a bunch of things, you throw it onto there, and you hope for the best. Like, uh, a really good video has a narrative that it tries to tell. Like, there a story it's trying to tell. Even if it's not much anything important, there had, there's a certain flow to it that works. And I really love seeing that come out, even if it's something I'm not interested in at all. Because I love seeing... I just love seeing really good creators. And I guess that's kind of... I guess that's kind of what prevents me from making a lot of content all the time, like... Like, uh, along the lines of, uh, going off of what someone asked earlier about, uh, gotcha videos, like, I, I feel like I respect my, uh, like, I, I want to make something that means something, uh, even if it doesn't mean anything to someone else, it means something to me, and I can already tell you that I, am not getting anything uh, this is a dead run already because like i only get uh, of course like i only get 15 cards in the next three hands so these i have five oberon cards in the next two hands which means one of them has at least three and if oberon has three cards on any given hand it's a loss because that means i have to take one of his I'm glad I know about advanced card counting, because if I wasn't already putting that into practice, th that would make this uh, take longer. You've watched videos about completely unnecessary stuff because they were well made. Yeah, that's that's a way that YouTube has kind of progressed as of late, and I, I'm kind of here for it. Uh, I like seeing higher quality content being appreciated because uh, because there's a lot of things that just aren't really that interesting but since people are able to um, since those people care about it and they're able to put it into words and put it into a, a story basically they can carry that 
uh, and try and, and they can convey that emotion, that interest that they have in that. And I, I just love seeing that that come to fruition. So we got one Oberon card this turn. If we get two next turn, okay, we're good. There isn't much FGO videos that just have commentary. It's it's really true. Uh, it's something that's kind of sad about uh, about FGO for me. There's there's just really low standards out there as far as content goes. Um. Oh, okay. I think this wears off before. We're about to find out. There's just not a lot of heart behind FGO content. And that's the thing that annoys me about a lot of people in the community. Yep, yep the taunt wore off. That's good. Okay, so I need two Oberon cards next turn, and then two the next turn, because I got one this turn. I got a brave chain here. Hmm. Is this the run? I think we do too much damage here. Alright. I yeah, I think we did too much we're doing too much damage here because uh George needed to die faster. If he crits, we definitely lose. Well, oh my god, we did it. Unless, unless he doesn't kill George. Oh no, we have to RNG it out a few more turns. Oh no. Good thing is, we have 10 cards that we don't need. But if we get 3 cards from George on any of these turns, we're screwed. Got burnt. Okay, so we're good next turn, too. So we got 3 last turn, 3 this turn, so we got 4 next turn. Okay, his taunt's gone. So we got four this turn, which means we can have three next turn and three the next turn. I guess I could also save scum here. Uh. Oh my god, it needs to... Okay, I'm gonna save scum next turn, because it's got its NP. Oh. Shit. Alright. Oh, yeah, and it ju he just got his NP back. Got his NP, his, his first skill. If he had died a little bit earlier... Um, what craft essence do I have on him? I think I should give him the defense down one. Ah, oh, that was so close, dude. So close. Oh, he does that. Huh? He does have that. I think I should give him the damage per turn because if I have him taking damage per turn, that means that means even if he doesn't get attacked, uh, like in the scenario, if we have the same thing happen last this time as last time, then that means he 
will still be guaranteed to die. Let's not give him necromancy. Necromancy is definitely not the same thing. Good start. Not that amazing Buster Brave, but... Ah, it's so low. Have I done any FCO randomizers? It's kind of hard to set those up. Like, it, it really just depends on the context, but... Uh, I like the idea of a randomizer. Randomizers are pretty fun. I do want to do a, a Wind Waker randomizer run sometime. That does sound a lot, like a lot of fun. This is the lower damage way. I don't know, I already just use a lot of different servants as is. What are you looking at? Beauty. Okay, so we're good next turn. Yeah, I'm trying to lose the easiest fight in the game. You're literally not supposed to be able to lose this. Wait, why did I... Why did I take poster... Oh, I took poster girl off of him. What a... What a dumbass. Well, I want Jason to do as little damage as possible. Why is he not level 121? Well, unfortunately, it's not really possible to have someone at 121 right now. You might get another turn. Please attack, Jason. Oh, okay, I don't need you to. Okay, we're in it. Got one of his... Got one of his cards. And we can't get a George Brave Chain next. Is this it? Is this it? This might be it. Yeah, and he's taunted now. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We lost the impo the the completely possible. I did it. I became the worst player in FGO. For the second time ever, I was the first to accomplish something in Fate Grand Order. The first time was doing over a million damage of curse in one turn. Cool video, go give it a watch. But most importantly, the, the last one has finally found victory. Thanks for watching.